This is one of those videos that I've honestly been trying to pull off for a while. This is <laughs> this is a different kind of video. This is going to be an exclusive versus exclusive battle. And to make it completely fair, I pulled exclusives of just Star Wars from two different retailers to see exactly which one of these are going to be the better exclusive. But I need your votes down below to make this successful. I'm going to need you to throw a hashtag this one or a hashtag that one based upon which one of these guys you believe is the best store exclusive at this very moment. Let's get into this video. Now, in a perfect world, I would have went to the store, I'd have picked these guys up, you would have seen me pick them up the same day, and they would have been the exact same exclusives from the exact same day, right? This is not a perfect world, and one of these exclusives really doesn't have a storefront. Well, I mean, I have been seeing them in FYE, so if you are looking for your Entertainment Earth exclusives in person, you can kind of find them at FYE, I guess. I mean, because here lately, I've been seeing them more and more and more at FYE. It's kind of surprising. I don't know if Entertainment Earth has made some kind of deal with FYE. I am, however, affiliated with Entertainment Earth. There's a link right down in the description below. If you're going to go pre-order things, you're going to buy Funko Pops from Entertainment Earth, you might as well help out this channel and use that link down below. I truly appreciate you. Coming in on the second one is also going to be a Star Wars pop. I wanted to make sure that both of these came from the same line or, or at least the same thing, like a Marvel pop versus a Marvel pop and a DC versus a DC and a Star Wars versus a Star Wars is going to be the GameStop exclusive with this horrible red sticker that we all know that we hate. The whole community hates this red sticker. So we're going to have Jar Jar Binks from GameStop and we're going to have the Mandal Mando from the Mandalorian Star Wars pop from Entertainment Earth. Both of these are really cool pops. Now, one of them does have a glow versus the other one, but this is the exclusives that you can pick up from both of these re retailers at this moment. Now, before you go ahead and hit that like, which one is better, I want to take a closer look at the paint job. How cool is the paint job? How cool is the glow? Is this one going to be better without a glow versus this one? I seriously want to dig into them to see which one of them is, is better overall, right? We know that we've seen The Mandalorian at least 50 times. Times. They're showing five of them on the back of the box. Jar Jar Binks is number 500 out of the group. I think that 500 is a really cool number. I am currently going after every number 13 Funko Pop that I can find. It, I guess the same could be about a lot of pops, though. We could go out to number seven. We could go out to number 21. There's so many numbers out there, right, that we could we could we could actively go after. But 500 is not a bad number. This one is the GameStop exclusive. I, I don't have a Jar Jar Binks in my Star Wars collection, so this is going to be an interesting one to put in the collection. We know that they all come with the same stupid stand, right? They, they, they've they yet to like start changing their stand a whole lot. It has that background in it that doesn't add any value, so we're not going to look at that today either. This is a really strong pop. Let's take a closer look at this one. So the GameStop exclusive Jar Jar Binks is a really strong pop. Now, there's not a whole lot on it as far as paint job they could have done wrong. The only thing that I can see that's painted on his face are the eyes and where his mouth is. The rest of it is actually the color of the plastic, which is pretty cool. They must have used some kind of an airbrush. They The detail, the, the attention to detail that's been going into fungal pops here lately is absolutely insane. You can see that they got some printing going down his paint and going down that tie thing and into his hand gloves or half gloves or half sleeves. I don't know exactly what you call those. All the way down to his fingernails have paint on them. They did a really, really good job at getting this one painted. I mean, this one this one is hands down done really, really well. Now, I have a feeling that this one looks a hundred times better out of the box than it actually looks in the box. I hate that I can see a seam on his head, though, that you don't normally see when it comes to pops. I mean, so there is a clear seam on his head where they made the head in two different pieces. 
The Mandalorian is number 345 out of the group. Now, this is an Entertainment Earth exclusive. This one is also the Glow variant. So we're, it, it's, it's going to break down, I think, to the paint job on them. Which one has a better paint job? Now, we know in the Mando, there's not a whole lot that, that they could have messed up on the paint job. They are showing 12 of them on the back of the box. So they're showing a lot of them from this line versus that line, which is insane to me that, that we have so many of, of different lines out there already. This stand is going to be identical to the other one with the exception of probably the color no they so they they made this stand see-through i i kind of can get behind that one a little bit more than i can this this standard black that we see all too often from this this one is really cool now that they're not calling this a holographic i however feel like this is a holographic mando a lot like the old holographic yoda i know you know which one i'm talking about or the holographic obi-wan which is also a really cool one as well I really think that it's going to come down to the detail and the glow. Let's let's take a closer look at him. We know that this is a re-sculpt, right? This is this is one that they've made time after time after time. I mean, this is not a a new pop. This is a fairly old one. The difference is the the way that they've done him. Now, his head is really not wanting to sit right, which is kind of weird. It's almost as if the spring has something wrong with it. I can see that it's been pressing against the gun as well. So so that's I'm going to take credit away from that right off the start because it does have this wonky like head position. Um, the paint job on him looks like it's done really well. The glow, however, is pretty weak, if I'm being completely honest, and I believe in being completely honest when it comes to, to what we're talking about. The glow on this one is really weak, so so I'm going to take some points away for the head, the way that the head's sitting. I'm going to take some points away for the glow. I'm going to take some points away for, for all of that, but before we like decide which one of these is the better one, or, or I should say, before I decide which one of these I believe is the better one, make sure that you've thrown your comment down below to say, hey, I believe this one is better, or I believe that one is better. Whichever one you believe is better, there's no right or wrong answer in this scenario, and I really want to know which one of these you believe is better than the other one. Now, because this is a re-sculpt, because the head's wonky because the, it's affecting the gun. But so many variables go into the fact that I'm going to say right now, Jar Jar Binks has the advantage over this Mandalorian. So we're going to call GameStop as the winner of this one. I mean, I you have to give it to them, right? I mean, so even though they have this god-awful red sticker that they need to replace, I don't know why they haven't fixed their sticker yet. Maybe it's a cost-effective thing versus not a cost-effective thing. I'm not a 100% sure why they haven't fixed this you know at some point we're gonna have to like maybe ask GameStop what they're thinking who knows what's gonna happen at that point I mean there's just no way of, of knowing what's gonna happen I have however recently picked up a new nerf gun or I'm gonna say nerf blaster or nerf something that I'm gonna be getting unboxed soon there's so many exciting things that's going on with this channel make sure that you're you're already subscribed and you've hit that like button if you haven't already so you is crazy glow on this pop really is bad it, it's it's a rough glow i'm gonna throw it under a, a really big black light and and see if maybe i can get it to glow a little bit better so for the video but this one this one has been like a rough one trying to get it to glow let's, yeah, let's there it is so i'm gonna have to turn on the big guns here I, I got i got the big guns here i got to turn on see if we can't get some kind of glow out of this one i i hate to think that maybe i don't have it charged enough but there's definitely something that's going on that's that's affecting the way this thing glows. Let's see. Let's see if that helped. All right. So so after sitting it under a high powered black light, I was able to get a pretty awesome glow out of it. I mean, so so it, it it does have a pretty cool glow to it. But this is what I'm going to say. Even though it had a pretty cool glow to it, after I like stuck it under a high-powered black light, how many of us are going to put it under a high-powered black light to see the glow on a pretty regular basis? I'm willing to say less than 10% of us are, are going to take the time to stick this under some high-powered black light so that you get an awesome glow out of it. It's going to have to rely on the sun. And relying on the sun, you're going to see almost zero glow come out of this one. I mean, just zero. 
a little disappointed in the glow, but I'm not because I was more after the height. Height. What do you? I keep trying. I, I don't really know if I can say that. I was really more after the holographic style than I was the glow. But I'm still holding this one down for Jar Jar Pinks. Make sure that you you hit that subscribe button and just know that I truly truly appreciate you coming and hanging out with me. And, and I'll catch you next time. Have a good one. This is, what is this? A squishmallow. A squishmallow. Nobody, <laughs> want, nobody wants a squish. <laughs> Tell all your Funko friends. I look like the guy from the Lord of the Rings right now, but I want all the Funko community to know to get yourself a squishmallow. They're at Target, Walmart, and all your favorite stores, even Walgreens. And this is the tag. And it's another collectible. And follow my YouTube. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you like Funkos, you will like Squishmallows.